What's going on guys, it is Magic Bacon here, and today guys, I'm going to be bringing you episode 2 of the, uh, I guess, kind of, kind of just the new podcast, I guess, kind of a, I don't know, I'm thinking about keeping the name of the podcast, Bacon Traveler Podcast, uh, so guys, I'll be bringing you episode 2 of that, and um, I'm going to be talking about some things uh, on this podcast, I'm going to be kind of rolling into my first talking point here. Uh, or I'll just kind of introduce what I'll be doing. So how this podcast is going to work pretty much is me bringing up three, I guess, main talking points and then discussing them for a few minutes and uh, just kind of moving on through the talking points. And then that'll sort of be the podcast. A lot of podcasts I've noticed, uh, and I don't say this is necessarily a bad thing, but a lot of podcasts I noticed uh, have more so of like a roundtable discussion, uh, like the last episode, for example, <clears throat> more so like a like a Skype chat or a Discord uh like a Discord server or something. Whereas in this podcast I intend on it being um I intend on it being just me talking about stuff, like a bunch of I guess mini commentaries, uh all in one video. So a lot of these uh a lot of these topics, for example, are uh videos that for the most part I probably I I guess I don't really feel like putting into a video. Uh these topics too, maybe ones where uh, I guess there aren't really any cohesive points to make, like, because with my videos, I like to form some sort of script or, like, a list of bullet points for talking points and stuff like that, so with this, um, with this sort of format, uh, hopefully I can just kind of, I guess, just vent, uh, on this podcast, that'll kind of be what I do, and these will be topics where I can do that, where I can't really form a cohesive script out of it, uh, or if I do, it'll be just, like, half of it will just be nothing but editing, it won't be a whole lot of just talk which is what i want my videos to be so without further ado guys let's get into it so with this new format something that i do hope it kind of does is bring about a more so uh even schedule because if you guys do pay attention to kind of the youtube landscape there is a lot of stuff to talk about um and a lot of it you know it, co commentaries aren't exactly for for me at least the style i want to make it isn't exactly i guess it, it, it's kind of time consuming i have to say so with this, with the whole, you know, time consumption thing, making videos on each and every topic can be difficult. And on top of editing and stuff like that to make it, uh, to, to add a bit more entertainment, you know, I do like to, uh, ma I do like to make my videos have serious points, but I do like to also have them be entertaining. Uh, so, you know, to kind of captivate my audience and to uh, entertain you guys, that's what I like doing. So, uh, with this, hopefully, you know, these will be generally more serious videos. They won't have a whole lot of... I guess like the memes, you know, the stuff like that, the memes that I like to put in here. There won't be a whole lot of that in these type of commentaries. So that this is kind of what it is. I really hope it does kind of satisfy the audience that really does like the serious points in my videos. <clears throat> but mostly these are videos that, like I said before, I don't want to make entire separate videos on them. Or just doing so will be really just... It'll get it'll get old, believe me. This is partially why I actually quit the gaming videos a while back was because just so tedious, you know, making, just cranking out video after video, it gets really boring, gets really dull, whereas to this, I'm hoping it will kind of add on, <clears throat> like a, like an even schedule, I guess, more so, uh, hopefully I can get, like, a weekly upload schedule going on, like I said, guys, the gaming videos, um, which hopefully, uh, I did actually ask my friend, you know, like I said before, he's really willing to, uh, help make those videos, help edit them and stuff like that, which is really, really awesome because do doing so can definitely get kind of tricky. Uh, like I said before, I don't really like editing the gaming videos, but I do certainly, uh, I do have that audience that really does like watching them. So to make them kind of in, I guess that montage parody ish form, well, not, not necessarily, you know, just gaming videos with some funny editing. That's what I kind of want to put on the channel. That's one thing that I do and actually upload. So with that, uh, that will definitely be coming up, so hopefully uh, once a week I can upload either a commentary, a podcast episode, or a gaming video, or heck, even a vlog if I start doing vlogs. I don't I don't really want to, um, in all honesty, I never exactly saw the entertainment in vlogs. A lot of it is just people doing really mundane stuff. <laughs> it's like, yo, we're, we're going to the store, you know? Well, well, watch us go to the store. You could be going to the store yourself right now, but your, your life sucks, so you're going to watch us go to the store now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I probably won't end up doing vlogs though. I okay. So that kind of establishes it. The whole, uh, the whole 
upload schedule saying hopefully I can get it going once a week and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing vlogs. <laughs> uh, I just don't intend on doing vlogs. <clears throat> gaming channels. Um, like I said before, I quit doing gaming videos because of the tediousness. Uh, but I also kind of quit doing it because of the gaming community. If you guys have been paying attention to a lot of quote-unquote like gamers and stuff like that like on YouTube, I, I can't, I can't, I guess... I, I can't just associate myself with that community. I don't know. I don't like... Uh, how, how do I say this? I, I'm not a huge fan of the gaming community. A lot of gaming videos now are just really, like, dull and boring, um, in my opinion. Or a lot of it is just extremely generic. If you guys do remember my Clover Cup video, um, a lot of it was... Uh, my, one of my main points in that video was that Clovercop's videos, uh, or if I didn't say it then, I'm going to say it now. Clovercop's videos are fairly generic. Uh, it's really just low grade, just just like, it, it, no effort humor, really. There's not a whole lot of effort put into it. Uh, whereas with gaming videos, you know, uh, so, some some people do actually put effort into it. Van Oss is one. Uh, gaming Lemon is, a, is another one. Although, it, 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 he is kind of annoying. Uh, I do have to respect the fact that he does... He does seem to put quite a bit of editing into his videos, and I can definitely respect. I, I can definitely respect the effort and time he puts into his videos. Sometimes he doesn't even upload weekly, which uh, in, in gaming is really hard to find, um, especially like now where this whole YouTube adpocalypse thing. A lot of people are going to be cranking out more videos to hopefully uh, kind of supplement the fact that uh, they're that to kind of help uh, supplement that lost revenue. So. Hopefully, uh, you know, with a lot of well, some gaming channels, like I said, Gaming Lemon, Vanoff, stuff like that, they they put a lot more, I guess, effort into them. And those are the gaming channels that I do actually like. Some of them though are just really dull, and boring. It's like, hey guys, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be doing some 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 COD uh, today. It's not even like in a live stream format. They're just literally just sitting there like playing COD and. So, so, I mean, and I can kind of I can kind of see how some people enjoy it because some of those channels do. Um, like they, like the gameplay in them is actually pretty good. You know, some good, you got some good gameplay there. Um, but others are just like, it's like, hey guys, we're gonna be playing some COD. It's like some mediocre gameplay. <laughs> it's like, like they're not like, I, I get, they're they're not that they're not like that good at the game. And I'm I'm not really good at COD either. But the the gameplay in there is very <clears throat> mediocre. It's very average. Uh, and you're just like, eh, you no, know, that, that was meh, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't, I guess, like, blow you away. And I'm not saying every gaming video has to blow you away, but their whole channel is just built off of really just generic uh, content and stuff like that. Uh, and then you have the other, you, you have the global cops of the gaming community that just do nothing but scream, put literally no effort into their videos. Uh, and for some reason, I, I guess, I guess it's just, uh, it, it's hard for me to decipher a lot of videos where people will... <clears throat> um, you know, they'll get in, like, an Xbox Live party or stuff, or something like that, and, um, we'll just have, like, four of their mates, you know, they're gonna play some GTA or whatever, you know, it's, it's all good fun, and, uh, I can't, I can't decipher, uh, like, each person, so, like, hey, like, yo, like, random generic, yeah, you know, we're just gonna call him Bro Dude Brad, yeah, like, yo, Bro Dude Brad, it's like, it's like, you having some, having some fun here, mate, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 mate, I'm having some, having some fun, it's like, they all, they all sound the same, in my opinion. Uh, I I don't know. It's like the tone of the voice. It it, it I I don't know. I, I really don't know. Please please help. Me. Yeah. So with the gaming communities, you know, I I left I left the gaming community primarily because I was just really dull, low grade content. Uh, like just like really generic like humor and stuff like that that would appeal to maybe maybe a maybe like a twelve year old like maybe a twelve year old would find it funny, but. Anyone that has anyone that's over the age of twelve and has more than two synapses working in their head probably uh, will enjoy that sort of content. And that's kind of it's kind of why I left. Uh, that and really and and I, I'm, it's gonna sound like I only care about views here, and you can criticize me only one on that. I I really don't care. Uh, I'll I'll, t I'll obviously take into into consideration. I don't want to sound like a jerk. It's like oh haters gonna hate. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so original. <laughs> You know, stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you know, you can criticize me all you want, but pers but another reason, too. Uh, the community, the tediousness, and uh, also just the really low view count I was kind of pulling in. Uh, some videos were better than others. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, my Murder Mystery 2 video pulled in, like, over 80 views, I think. Uh, which, for my sub count, which is 70 as of now, is actually really good. Uh, some, some of my commentaries haven't even hit that, actually, which is pr pretty astonishing, actually, that... Uh, and I think, I think one of the reasons was, 
Uh, the gameplay was, it, it, it's murder mystery too, you know, yeah, it's like Trouble in Terrace Town, you know, you, you don't know where the killer is, he had that kind of suspense aspect of it, and you kind of, like, I really did enjoy myself making that video, that, that video was a lot of fun to make, uh, so, you know, you have that going for me, uh, you know, it's, it's generally, it was generally a good time, that, murder mystery too was really popular at the time, uh, on Roblox, it was pulling in at least, like, 5,000 players at the time, I don't know what it is now, I haven't checked Roblox in, over a few months. I, I haven't played it that much at all lately. Uh but that's okay in my opinion. That's, that's perfectly fine. Uh so that kind of that kinda of covers the gaming community, why I left the gaming community, what I don't like about the gaming community, all that sort of stuff. So my last topic here is the commentary community. Now if you, if you guys, you know, have two brain cells in your head, you guys can probably realize that I'm part of the commentary community. You know, I make commentaries. I'm making this podcast right now. Uh, I do the sort of funny meme editing, you know, that I like doing. Stuff like that. So you can kind of tell I sort of I associate with myself with the I so, mm, oh, I need to speak. I associate myself with uh, the commentary community quite a bit. And I think that's okay, in my opinion. Uh, you know, com- commentary, com- the commentary community for the most part, is cancer. And I don't mean that in a joke. It, it It's bad. It, it is bad. Now, not all commentary channels are really bad. Um, there are some that I can actually genuinely respect. Kavos is a commentary channel that I do personally like. Uh, although I do agree, some of his past videos were uh, a, a wee bit questionable. You know, they, they weren't exactly the best content, but... Uh, so there are still some commentary channels that I do genuinely like, but one of the well, a lot of a lot of traits that I find amongst a lot of the bigger commentary channels, like I'm talking like the ones who who have at least probably 200,000 subscribers. A lot of those guys. What I'm saying is a lot of those really leech off of drama quite a bit. Um, what I mean by that is you 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 subscribe to scares, you subscribe to drama. Um, Okay, you subscribe to Scares, you subscribe to Drama Alert, you subscribe to Philly D, you know, Philip DeFranco, whoever, whatever YouTube news source you follow, and whatever big story goes on there, you talk about it. And uh, I've done this before, you know, I've made some videos on YouTube Drama, uh, let me pull up my channel right now and I'll kind of, I'll kind of view the videos where I sort of talk about YouTube Drama. The Derv Terminated one uh, was definitely one. The Club of Cop video, you can debate that one. Uh, I did talk about tweets that were reported both on Keemstar and, uh, or Keemstar channel and Scarce's channel. So, that, you know, the let's talk about subscriptions. You can see a lot of my videos, a lot of my commentaries are based off of YouTube drama. Um, and personally, I don't really mind that, uh, you know, and so, and a lot of commentary channels too, I don't necessarily mind them doing it because you can kind of tell that they genuinely care. They have actual talking points to bring to the table, um, you know, stuff like that. They're bringing some. They're bringing some fresh content to the table, and I think that's what uh, a lot of, uh, not a lot of, but some some commentary channels that base themselves off of drama do. So I don't have an issue with that. My main issue is though is when commentary channels just. You can tell that they don't really care. Um, you know, they'll watch up some. They'll they'll watch like an actual good commentary channel. They'll they'll write down some talking points or whatever, and then they'll find a way to string that and just repeat it, just over and over and over again. I'm talking like seven or eight times, over and over and over again, in like seven or eight different ways. Uh, throughout the video, just gets over ten minutes. Wild Spartans is another one I can kind of think of. Uh, he he does now. Now it, it's gonna sound kind of strange. Wild Spartans does bring up some pretty good talking points in this video. I will give him that. He does actually bring up some good talking points to the table, which is good. Um, uh, my only issue with it is uh, his videos could probably be the ones that are like over ten minutes. They could probably be uh, right around six or seven minutes and still be just as good. Uh, but a lot of but what he does a lot of times is just repeat himself over and over and over again. It just gets really dull. It gets really boring really fast. But he does have some good talking points. So I can definitely I can definitely forgive that. Um, in my own opinion, I can definitely forgive that. Uh, so uh, that's just kind of it. And then you have the commentary channels that generally just how how do I say this? They just don't care. You know, like I said before, the ones that have good talking points but just kind of stretch it out, and the ones that clearly just take one talking point or just. Like absolutely no talking points at all. Like so, like sometimes legit. Sometimes they'll just like be asking questions the whole time. And I'm wondering like, 
like how do you put that in a, in a cohesive video like like can you imagine typing a script that was like it's like okay it's like i talk about the derv terminated uh video and like can you imagine if i just asked like the whole time in several different ways like oh it's like yo why did he get terminated it's like it's like oh, okay this could have been the reason uh oh oh how did he get terminated oh this could have been the reason like can you imagine if i just did that and brought up absolutely no explanation yes i brought up some uh hypothesis hypothesis so my pot, I don't know how to say it, but I, I brought up some some reasons why he was terminated, and I kind of explained uh, explained them. Uh, you, even in the title, you can kind of see what this means for YouTube. I said that because it kind of shows that YouTube may actually be enforcing the rules for once, which is something YouTube is notorious for. They don't enforce their rules, so that that was definitely interesting. Uh, how I how I sort of I guess I I made I made points more points based on the assumption that Derv is terminated for. Uh, the clickbait. Obviously, that wasn't it. Um, uh, and yeah, so, <clears throat> so yeah, that that was kind of it. And that brings me into my last talking point, guys. And that is, well, why Derv was actually terminated. So <clears throat> you guys can see that was in the title. So why Derv was terminated? Uh, he was actually terminated, believe it or not. For I, I put an edited um in the description of that video I have uh, the Derv terminated video. So I'll find that real quick. Okay, so the edit I said the the edit I had is okay according so according to an interview by, of Derv by Kavos, he's the guy I mentioned before. Uh, Derv apparently was taken down due to three community guideline strikes because of the violence in some of his videos. So uh, that that was definitely kind of strange. Uh, I've seen some of Derv's videos, uh, like some of the videos that he's talking about here, and personally, there isn't a whole lot of violence in his videos. There simply just isn't like. The violence that he, it's it's very, I guess, it's very cheesy, you know, it's like cartoonish violence that you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't, you're, you're not gonna pull up like a full on fist fight, or like a, like a, like a, like some dude, uh, like a, I don't know, like a gas station, like robbing someone, like at gunpoint and stuff, you don't, you, that kind of stuff I could see getting terminated, but you don't see that on Nerd's channel, <laughs> like, like what, like he's terminated for violence, what? And uh, something that also kind of scared me too was in that interview, Derv actually said that he was taken down instantly. Like, he wasn't actually given a warning. Um, if you guys don't know how uh, YouTube's termination system works, it works on a three strike basis. So, pretty much, you get one strike, uh, two strikes, and then three strikes. But usually, they don't happen in very rapid succession to the point where you have no warning, essentially. Uh, so, with the strikes, he pretty much got them all at once, and he got terminated. No explanation, no warning. Well, he did get an explanation later on, but uh, no warning, actually, which is really surprising. Um, and, and this has happened a lot with commentary channels, too, where they'll just get flat-out terminated. Like, the three strikes rule simply won't apply, or it won't serve its use. Like, oh, you're going to get terminated now, but you got three strikes, so it doesn't So it doesn't matter. Whereas, you're, they're, the point of that is to allow the YouTuber to change their content to adhere to the community guidelines. So that makes me actually really fearful for YouTube, actually, because th this shows that this has been going on for years now, like a couple of years. Um, actually, now that I think about it, this has been going on with channels since, as far as I can remember, like even as far back to 2012, uh, <laughs> you know, even as far back as then, like channels that were generally very vocal, very... Um, I guess very critical of others. Uh, they were getting taken down like this too. So definitely, uh, it, it really does instill quite a bit of hope for YouTube, doesn't it? You know, you got the YouTube ad apocalypse thing, which I don't even think YouTube's gonna fully come back from. Uh, in all honesty, it they, they simply aren't. They aren't gonna come back from like just about every advertiser abandoning, just like jumping ship, uh, and then just creators' revenue completely tanking. It's really just going to de-incentivize creators to either well well to make good content and then the ones that the ones that do stay they're just they physically won't be able to because they'll have to look for like a second job or something to uh actually support themselves because youtube won't be a means of revenue so you'll have them leaving and then you'll have um you'll have just more just really bad content like the people who do decide to stay on youtube just Kind of just cranking out like really bad videos just for the sake of having a video up to getting that revenue and i think that will drive viewers away too uh and that'll kind of make youtube a very niche uh sort of website and i, and I think i think uh we'll all be jumping to, to vidme soon uh vidme is actually fairly a fairly good alternative to youtube but it's nowhere it has nowhere near the viewer base that it needs to to, to actually take it out but personally I, I don't think youtube's gonna fully recover from the adpocalypse because that that break between youtube and advertiser was broken 
really, um, was broken when Wall Street Journal was reporting on, oh, you know, these these videos which shouldn't be advertised, uh, you know, are advertised and advertisers jump ship because they didn't want their videos on there. Partially, is it partially YouTube's fault? Yeah, because let's face it, you know, they couldn't exactly, um, they, they they couldn't really, uh, you know, make sure that the videos uh, that actually shouldn't it should and shouldn't be advertised. You know, they didn't exactly make sure they were correct. Uh, so I, I think it's partially their fault, but I don't think they really deserved uh, the collapse of uh, just about the entire advertising platform on the site. So, so you know, you you, got, you guys kind of went a bit overboard there. Uh, but, but yeah, so that's that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Tell me what you guys think of this podcast. What you guys think of the new format? Uh, you know, the three talking points or like the three or four talking points per video, uh, and then me just kind of talking about them. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys uh sort of want more commentary or not commentary podcast episodes, or if you guys just want me to stick to commentaries and potentially gaming videos and to start dropping more of those. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like down below and comment what videos you guys want me to do next. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.